one guy I didn't ask you about earlier that I know you uh, dealt with a lot in your career is Harley Race. Um, just what are your thoughts on him as a, an, a wrestler and uh, as one of the toughest guys allegedly in the history of the business? Yeah. I, last night, got a chance to spend some time with Haku Ming. He's had a bunch of names. And I think of all the guys in the business, if somebody said to me, put your hand to the fire, who's the toughest of them all? I would have to say Haku. And I always make the thing, if I was at war and I was in the enemy, behind enemy lines and in a fox hole and worrying about where I was being surrounded and my life being at risk, and I could have one guy in the fox hole with me, who would that guy be? It would be Haku. And right behind him would be a Harley race and would be a, a Terry Funk. So when I say Haku, it's no disrespect to Harley, but that's that's how I look at them. They're, they're so far above everybody else in terms of being tough. Harley's a tough man. And they recently said that uh, uh, he fell, broke both legs, and broke one of his ankles. Somebody said he'd probably never walk again. He was in a wheelchair for a while, and then he was up before anybody knew it. He is one of the toughest guys that I've ever met in my life. And in terms of in-ring performance, he's eight times world champion. That, that, how many guys could put that on their resume? And you actually wrote in your book, too, uh, he's been criticized for some people uh, for his booking, but... You wrote in your book that you found him to be an excellent booker. Yep. Now, for Ming, you brought up Ming. Did you ever actually see him in action, or have you just basically heard the stories of his uh, escapade? Uh, as with Harley Race and this with Ming, you, uh, when a guy tells you how tough he is, <laughs> it's hard not to bite your lip because I'm old enough and, and have had enough life experiences to know that the toughest of the tough, you never hear it from them. You hear it from everybody else. And I, I don't think I've experienced, I've seen Haku in Japan. I regard him as a very close personal friend that I have so much respect for because the tough guys don't have to tell you how tough they are. And when I see him, I give him a big hug and I know his wife and his son is wrestling now too. I said, his son's going to do well because he's got uh, Haku's uh, DNA flowing through his bloodstream. And uh, I always have a smile every time I see him. a great guy. I love him. And I'm actually going to be wrestling him next year for our company, so I'm going to have my work cut out for me. <laughs> hey, I would regard it, if I were to you, as an honor to be in the ring with him.